Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay. We have a lot of fun goodies today. Beautiful journals, journal packs, a couple supplies, and a giveaway. So if you came to this video to see the giveaway, I will start with that. So I created this beautiful journal for a giveaway journal. I haven't done a giveaway in quite a while, and I thought it would be fun. I'll flip through it really quick. It's a hummingbird, excuse me, <clears throat> hummingbird theme journal <laughs> and the way you're going to enter to win is by making a specific purchase so um, what you will do in my shop I offer free shipping if you add 10 items to your cart and so what we're going to do is a 10 plus one so if you check out with 11 items in your cart then um, I will enter you to win this and so tomorrow morning, so today, this is only good for, uh, today's August 25th. So whenever this goes live, so any orders the August 25th through the night up until probably um, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow when I go through all the orders from the day before. If you have purchased 11 items, you will be entered to, in a drawing to win this journal. And then I will post over on my Facebook group, Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals and Friends, who won. And it will be added in with your order for free. And shipping will be free too, since you have over 10 items. So again, for August 25th, all the way through the night to the early, early mornings of August 26th, if you add 11 items to your cart, you will be entered to win this free journal. That includes all the little piddly stuff. So look in the supplies sections, Marketplace Supplies, Lindsay's Supplies, Joanne's Supplies. You will find multiple items for $0.99, cents, $1.99, $2.99, $3.99. So you can easily get to 11 items without breaking the bank. And remember, your shipping will be free. You will get a $5.99 refund on your shipping. This is open for international as well, but the shipping won't be free. You will just get the $5.99 discount on the shipping. And um, also digitals count. So you have to have at least one, at least one that will be shipped to you, but you can have, so if you have like say eight different digitals in there and then you add three shipped items, it does count. So um, let's look through this. So this is called Soar Above and it's a hummingbird themed. It's a nine by six cardstock cover. It's stitched around. And then I have um, a nature circle with peeled paint distress stain and then it's all been layered up with fabric. I'm gonna have more of these for sale in my shop in the next week or so, um, but this is just a sample. And then this is one of the ephemera pieces from my kit, Industrial Hum, and that's the kit that I used throughout this journal. It is lined with coloring book pages, scrapbook paper, and then the only embellishing in this are the elements from the kit, Industrial Hum. So this is Industrial Hum. There's over 60 pages in this journal. All of the kit pages are backed with this writing paper from Pixel Scrapper. There's also some scrapbook cardstock in here. I've got a couple pockets. And then I've done mixed media um, staining and stenciling on the other side of that. So that's really pretty to go with the pages. So there's ephemera pieces clipped on this page here, I'll show, um, I have some of these for sale in a minute, but these are hand uh, painted papers that I've made and I included a page in here so you can see what it looks like in a journal. And I'm just gonna quickly flip through. Um, there's lots of room for you to write and to continue to embellish. So the tux box do not have anything in them. You can add your own um, images. If you want to continue with the hummingbird theme, I suggest you purchase Vintage Image Club. Uh, you can get that in the Clubs and Collections section on my website. It used to be called the Huge Sales section. I renamed it since they pretty much were all just Clubs and Collections. But if you get Vintage Image Club, there are uh, multiple folders in there with hummingbird ephemera that you could use. But you could also go florals or whatever you wish. There's that hand painted paper again. So this journal is up for grabs. So pretty. 
And if nobody has the 11 items through tomorrow morning, then this journal will just be added to Lindsay's Handmade as a, per a journal to purchase. So I'm offering it up first for a giveaway journal, but um, if we don't have anybody that orders the 11 items, then it will be put up for sale tomorrow or the next day, whenever I get to it. So there's that. Um, next, we are going to look at a couple of new supplies that my mother-in-law, Connie, has made. She does uh, beaded dangles and items like that. So she's made some really pretty dangles for your journals. My hands are all inked and painted up because I just finished that journal, but I know that all of you understand that. So there's just some dangles that you could add clips onto, and there's safety pins and all sorts of pretty things there. So she has her own section and that's Connie's Handmade Goodies. My cat is bumping under the desk. And then in here we have a really pretty tassel. Look at how pretty that is with those uh, buttery flowers, buttercup flowers. And then some beaded safety pins and a dangle. And then the rest of our items that are in the shop are on sale. So again, you can add those sale items as part of the giveaway. And then there's some dangles and other beautiful beaded items there with a gray and silver theme. And then she has also made some fabric shabby ribbons, lace and fabric, Isn't that pretty. I love that teal, so pretty. And then this one as well, isn't that gorgeous? So that could be either glued on the side of a page or she also has a safety pin on there. So you could clip it like as a tassel or something like that. So those are her new items. Move those over. We have some amazing journals from Michelle Wynn, and I know that you're going to want to see these. These are challenge, most of them are challenge journals, and um, sorry, moving stuff out of the way. So she sent me a thank you package, and I am in love with this hand dyed sari silk, and then she sent um, journal cards and other goodies. So thank you for the package. So special. I love it. But I know that um, all of you really love her work. Her journals have sold very well in the past. She has such a unique style, and I love it. Her stuff is well-made, too. But just look at all of the texture and the florals and all the painting on there. This is an image from Full of Hot Air, which is one of my digitals that you can get, or one of, you can get it printed, but it's a hot air balloon theme. And that was one of the digitals for the July challenges. So this is called Onward and Upward. So she used Full of Hot Air, Rose Quotes, and Button Labeled Botanicals. Those were all July challenge um, digitals that we were working with. And soon we will be starting the August, showing the August digitals. And I will also be announcing October's theme soon. And it won't be Halloween because by the time we show it, it'll be too late. So it'll just be more generic than that. But I know that you all will enjoy working with what I am putting together. So look at these gorgeous pages. I love the um, stenciling and the corners. This is Rose Quotes. These pages look so beautiful in a journal. There's all sorts of stuff. When life throws thorns, hunt for roses. That comes from Rose Quotes. And then hot air balloons. And then she's added beautiful other bits of papers throughout here. So lovely. These are the button labeled botanicals. Postcard, gorgeous. This flips up here too. So this is onward and upward. So you'll be able to find these in the marketplace section of the website. Look at this one. Look at the texture on that cover. I'm not sure how she did it. I don't know if that is an embossing folder or if it's specialty paper, but it is gorgeous. And then it's all painted. There's so many highlights. It's so pretty. Fabric covered spine and the sweet little balloon on the front. And this is called Up, Up, and Away. And then again, she's using the, I think the same, all the same digitals. Yes. Rose quotes, button labeled botanicals, and full of hot air. 
I love her style. It is so pretty what she does. It is the perfect balance of places to write and beautiful eye candy all put together. Now, we're not getting catching every page here, but you can definitely see the idea. We can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses. That's on rose quotes as well. She made this one too, and I love the collaged paper with the little gold foil elements that she has for the cover, and then a fabric reinforced spine. It is a soft, flexible cover with two signatures. This is one of the button labeled botanical cards, and this one says beauty. And it is lined with fabric. So this is called Beauty, full of hot air, rose quotes, button labeled botanicals. So she's using the same digitals, but she's getting a different effect with each journal, depending upon how she's doing the cover and how she sets up the inside. It is beautiful. I love her stitching. This is just, it's just so pretty. More of the button labeled botanicals there as well. They really go well with so many different journals. The rose quotes, like just stitching around a page to make a gorgeous frame. Very pretty. And then this one is very similar. It's called Cherish. Again, you have the Franken stitched paper with the fabric on the spine and covering the inside. And it's the same digitals. Beauty without virtue is like a rose without scent. It's one of the full of hot air pages. So pretty. Little flip opens, with lots of different kinds of papers. Very beautiful. She sent this one too. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how that is all like stenciled and mixed media effects. It says explore. This is not a challenge journal. She did use Full of Hot Air, but she did not use the other one. So this is just a regular marketplace journal. Look at like, the tag. So pretty. She paired it with Antique Aviary, which you can get for free on my Facebook group. Um, Wisteria and Hydrangea. Celtic Roses. Wisteria and Roses. So she went, like, this is Antique Aviary. This is Wisteria and Hydrangea. I love how she pulled some of those, Antique Aviary, and put them together. Love the, like, the jelly plate, mixed media, dyed papers. She has a very mixed media feel to her journals, kind of an art journal feel that I really love. Look at the pressed flowers. So pretty. The eco dyed paper. Oh. And then Michelle also sent one more that we're going to look at today. Look at that image. So this is from Wisteria and Hydrangea. It's a peacock image. She has purple stitching. Look at that flower. Gorgeous choice of papers. This is called Birds and Botanicals, and she used Antique Aviary, Wisteria and Hydrangea, button labeled Botanicals, and some freebies on my Facebook group. So beautiful what she did. Those dyed pages are just gorgeous. The, the coffee dyeing and the stenciling. The quotes. So pretty. So those are the journals that have been added today. 
If you are in the mood to make your own journal and you would like some really cool kits, I have some to share with you today from Above Par Crafts. And she has two circus themed ones and two oriental themed ones. So we will look at one of each. Um, this is her packing theme. And she says here, she's promoting two of my digitals full of hot air and then the modern made an image club. And she's saying you could use these digitals in your circus journal if you wanted to. They're not included in here, but you could get them. So the majority of items in this kit are vintage. Included in this kit, one vintage placemat that can be used as a cover, vintage book pages, coloring book pages, activity book pages, story pages, dictionary pages, coffee and beet juice dyed paper, scrapbook paper, stickers, greeting cards, playing cards, clown, cake topper, glassine and paper bags, envelopes, library card and pocket tags, ribbon, fabric, tickets, confetti, um, lick and stick stickers, buttons, beads, twine, binder ring, sewing pattern, punchinella, photo hanger and brad if you need to attach a tassel or charms game and puzzle pieces stickers greeting cards playing cards ephemera etc so this the i think that the two um circus ones are going to be slightly different but they're pretty much the same so it'll just be quantity two we're going to take a quick look at this not at everything but i want you to kind of see look at the fun ribbons and laces you get and here's the binder ring and buttons and twine and uh, altered paper clip that you can use. We got tickets. Here's the vintage clown cake toppers. So maybe you could incorporate these into a tassel or something like that. And then you have like a popcorn bag and it is full of confetti and punch outs and tickets. And I mean, look at all this stuff. I can't even show you everything. It would take me 20 minutes to go through all of the items. There's more in there. I just want you to get the magnitude of all of these elements. There's so many beautiful elements in this. You can use the confetti with glue to add texture, or you can make shaker cards. Of course, reuse all the bags in your journal. More ephemera. Look at all this circus-themed ephemera. So cute audio cassette box. So it's a little box here with hot air balloons. You could reuse that in the journal as well. And then look at this pattern, vintage pattern for clown costumes. Have some fun foil here. Um, there's fabric scraps in this bag, bright and cheery and glittery. So you can use those for collaging or pockets, fabric flips, got stationery and book pages, some scrapbook papers that are bright and fun, um, all coffee dyed papers for, for that lovely filler paper and more book pages. And this is, um, I think this is the vintage placemat. It's like a lightweight chipboard or a heavyweight cardstock that you could use for the cover if you wanted to. So I've just showed you one, but they are very, very similar. And I think this would be so much fun. Honestly, I think there's more um, in one pack than you would need for one journal. You'll probably have leftovers. So if you're thinking about making multiple journals, I would suggest getting both packs and then the leftovers from both of them, you should be able to get, depending upon the size of the journal, at least an extra journal or two out of it if you're stretching your supplies. Pull your favorite bright ink colors to go with this, the ones that maybe don't get used as much, and pull all those lovely colors and really enjoy playing and creating a circus journal. So we have those. Um, we also have two more packs of the beet dyed papers. I believe there's 30 in the pack. So you can add that to your journal making. Uh, she also has a Garfield set here. I think this is so cute. So it's vintage uh, paper wrap here from 1980, like gift wrap. And then there's um, vintage 
1978 stationery, and then some playing cards, all Garfield themed. Those would be really fun to put in with the circus journal as well. I think they would go perfectly. Um, and then she has the Oriental kit. There's two of them, but we're going to look at one. As you can see here would be the difference. There's a book cover for each one. They're both Oriental. I know there's a lot of crinkling and I apologize for that. There's just really no way around it. All right, let's take a peek at, we have ribbons and laces galore in this bag. Lots of reds, blacks, creams, and whites. And then you have buttons and um, things for making tassels and stuff in there. And in here, beads and twine. And then there's little ephemera punch outs and pieces in these as well. So cute. All the stuff that she has come up with. Um, playing cards that are oriental themed. Just, I mean, wow. You have a frame you could use on the cover. Look at these gorgeous pieces you could use on a cover. Like I said, there's way more here than you need for one journal. Look at how pretty that would be for a texture on a cover or wrapped around a journal. Vintage. Um, linen with little oriental people. So cute. More oriental items. There's a whole bunch in this bag. Lots of pieces of paper and stationery. Upholstery fabric. More papers, 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 and then the gorgeous book co cover. So, so much to choose from. It is one of the fullest junk journal packs I have seen. So I know this will, you will love it. I mean, I could, uh, really makes me want to make a journal with it. I could just lose all afternoon enjoying. Everything's here. It's like, you don't need, oh, look, even one of those like hair picks or, um, you know, for putting up a bun and it has a blue dragon on it, but you could put that on the spine or as part of a tassel. So many mix and match things. I really think you could make multiple journals with the pack. And there's two packs of those. Hopefully the crinkling is over and I'll share the last couple items with you. These are mine. I have two sets of dolphin postcards and they're 1996 postcards. And then they're just dolphin photography. They're beautiful. And each set is similar, but has different dolphins. So if you're doing ocean, undersea, or maybe just sending happy mail. This is the hand painted paper I was talking about. So this is five and a half by eight and a half. So there's actually like stationary sheets. You can fold them in half, make cards, you can die cut them. So they're painted, hand painted, both sides, multiple. There's like acrylic paint. There's Ken Oliver, um, the little not color burst, but like the shimmer watercolor. There's green glitter. There's pastel recollection spray. And then of course water. And it's been painted both sides. And there's just, there's shimmer and then different variegated tones of yellow. And then it's green glitter. Really pretty. So I have two sets of those. I have two more sets of wallpaper. This is called Let's Explore. There are eight sheets and it is map themed. So some of the maps have ships and then there's, um, this one is rather oriental, it has elephant. So that has part of an elephant. <laughs> it would be perfect for the oriental one. Um, and of course, like the maps and stuff would be really great to go with the oriental paper pack. So that one's called Let's Explore. And then I also have Plum Pretty which are these big florals and then the gorgeous plum purples. So pretty. Oh, one of my favorite packs. And then I have two packs of these giant postage stamps. They are actually wallpaper and um, it was a postage stamp wallpaper sheet. And I used um, decorative scissors to cut out the stamps, but you can see compared to my hand, some of these stamps are quite big, so I thought they would be really fun for pockets. And this is the biggest stamp here. And then the number two there, that's the smallest stamp. And then you have all different sizes 
in between and they're all of these gorgeous neutral colors and it's just a wallpaper backing so they're nice and sturdy and they would go really well with travel journals vintage journals and things like that I have two sets of those so I think that's everything for today um, definitely had fun um, with all this stuff so much inspiration I'm a little on overload and I've already made a journal today so yay so remember this journal is up for giveaway and I will announce my Facebook group who won it in the morning. So thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you later.